Hello again, everyone. Deflect here, Firm but Fair Gaming. Going to bring you a video on Voodoo, one of my favorite apps. I think it's a must for healing, but uh, it it's one of my favorite apps in general. If you haven't already, though, check out the Twitch stream. Uh, we'll be streaming over on Twitch. I'll be doing keys. I'll be doing mount runs. I'll be doing just about everything: tank, heal, uh, DPS. So check it out on Twitch. Link will be in the description. And if you want to support the channel more, check out the Patreon down below. Now on to Voodoo. All right. So if you downloaded the app Voodoo, it is one of my favorite favorite healing apps. Um, it's great because it has built-in mouse over everything, which makes life easier, and it does allow you to double up on the abilities. Uh, you can do a ton of stuff with it. You can set up spell traces. You can do clusters for your uh, mass healing spells. You can do indicators uh, on the status bar. Like It just has an immense amount of stuff. I'll start with the basics and... I won't get too in depth, but I'm going to go through like a kind of a basic guide. If you go to move, I have mine locked, so I can't. But if you go here, you can actually select which groups you want. You can choose whether you want to focus on tanks. If you want to pick a different one, all tanks are melee, so I want melee tanks. It just puts all the tanks in one group. Um, then I click OK, and it puts the tank to the left. Those are the tank here by itself. Because there is no such thing as a range tank, melee tank works. Uh, group one is just group one uh, when you get into the raid. So if you want to check what group you are. Uh, actually, I'm not in a group, so you can't see it. Uh, but yeah, you'd see groups here. Anyway, uh, that would just be group one, group two, group three, group four, etc. That is where you want to position it. So you can click move, find where you want. And then I have it lock and our lock panels enabled. So you can actually, if you do that it will just be while you're fighting you can pick this up and move it anytime you're not fighting if you enable it you can't move it at any time that's the easiest way that's the beginning that's the general screen easy easy ways to add mouse over so these your first one you come to is a mouse when you go to spells amazing spells you can simply just go to your spell book Pick on the spell you want. Say you wanted Rejuve. Uh, we'll go, or sorry, Regrowth. We we'll go Regrowth. Currently, it's the left button. If you want the left button, you just drop it on here. If you want to make this nothing, so if I don't want anything on the left button, just erase it, click OK, and you have nothing on the left button. Going back to Voodoo, I want Regrowth on, on a mouse over. It automatically makes it a mouse over. Just drag and drop. Regrowth is there. That easy, that simple, it's amazing. Uh, if you want to um, change it to keybinds, you can change your keybinds. And you can use that that way. Uh, I'm actually gonna change this around. We're gonna go that way. Uh, and every time you click OK, it closes. But yeah, that was one thing I wanted to change on mine. Anyways, same thing here, you just click add and then in the new bindings, you drop whatever you want in. Add Moonfire. We'll just use Moonfire for an example. And you can key bind it to whatever you want. Clear binding or remove. So that's how easy it is. It's just drag, drop, find the spell you want. Automatic mouse over. Amazing, amazing. You can add shift modifiers. You can add, so if you're key bound, starting at the mouse, you have to go from the mouse screen. So you start at the mouse. If you hit shift, it all changes. So you can do a shift mouse over for anything you like. You can then do go to your keybinds. Now this is, you know, you can add the shift modifier here or you can um, use the mouse shift modifiers. So your choice there. And then keybinds on number nine. I don't use this one um, just because I like the keybinds here. It's just easier. It automatically sets up everything for you. Uh, then going into the buffs, you can track your buffs and debuffs and on your panels. So we'll we'll go through the way I did on the Druid. The Druid has the panel set up already and it's down in the hot icons. So you can pick where on your, let me just move this over here, where on your panel it's going to be position one, two, three, mine are all right here. They actually go across the bottom bar. 
Uh, you can pick and see slot one is going to be regrowth. So if I regrowth on myself, it goes right here. If I rejuve, it's slot uh, two. If I wild growth, slot three. If I want to keep them all up and running. And there's the life bloom is slot four. Uh, spring blossoms is slot five. And adaptive swarm when I have it is slot six. Now, uh, it is very, very good uh, if you want to use, you know, own other whatever you want to look at. But you can make bars if you prefer bars so it looks different. If you don't prefer bars, like the bars will move back and forth. Like it'll just kind of stream like a bar does. I don't like that. I prefer to have the countdown. So I went with just hot icons because I prefer the icon of what it looks like and the number. So it automatically does that. All you have to do is pick which one you want. What ability. Go in here. Pick it from your list. And it automatically sets it up. Which makes life a lot easier. On the priest, I changed it because my atonement, I wanted something that catches my eye. So I actually made that a pink square. And it just goes around. Counts down when uh, the atonement's about to fall off. I thought it was easy enough. I liked it. If you don't like whatever color you want to make it, you can make it whatever color you want to make it. But that is the other things you can do as well. Now, the bars all go different colors. And this is the way they have it. Poison is green. Disease is red. Curse is purple. Mm, uh, sorry, pink. And magic is purple. And your a whole bar will go that way. So if you get a curse or anything or a poison, you can see because this whole orange area where you know I'm a druid will actually go to these colors. It makes it very easy. And with your mouse over... You know, remove poison and everything, magic, curse, and all poison effects. You just mouse over, click C, and away you go. Makes life very easy with the, all of these done for you. You can change the way uh, things go as well. So uh, this is selecting your hots and watching them. You could actually turn the countdown off if you want it. You could, you know, change the clock and fade it in and out. And you can do it from 10 seconds. You can do an amazing amount of... Uh, things with voodoo that is why i like this one you can change the bars too if you want to run hot bars that's up to you that's your preference i don't like them but hey if you like them that's all that matters raid icons you can put on you can turn it on to everyone you can do different targeting but the vast majority and don't forget you can save a profile too so i have priest druid resto druid you can all save them here you can apply it Load your profile over the current one. You want to import, export, save. You want to save it, saved. Now it's saved as Druid. It's very easy to do. And it's very user friendly with the UI. But the main, main areas you will be in is probably the general, using the general panels. So you can hide the panels if you're pet battle, if you're soloing. Uh, if you're in a party, you can hide the panels if you want to. That's, that's up to you. You can um, you can actually do a lot more different things with it. I don't use the emergency HP percentage, but you can if you want. Uh, you can filter your main tanks, your five main tanks, your privates, your own group. You can do what like you can literally. It, the world is your option here. It's your oyster. This whole thing is very very customizable. If you want to change your incoming threats, you can change that. If you want to check for aggro, you can add that. The spells. This is where you're probably spend most of your time adding your spells and you can use a shift modifier alt control shift uh your control shift and you just a ton of things sorry that's alt shift control shift shift by itself alt control shift like there's just a vast amount of different keybinds you can use and make your life a lot easier you'll also probably be using this menu a lot by just adding new ones and this will be all your regular key bind like keys i guess <laughs> i guess there's no other way to explain it that's just your regular ones like you can make shift modifiers for just about anything uh if you want to go into mouse over you want to do nature swiftness instead of being the middle button you want to add it to shift uh button four i guess you could do that you just go here find nature swiftness go to shift mouse button four you're done. There it is. That easy. Here you go. And you're set. But 
That's kind of the intro base version of Voodoo. It just works as raid frames, and instead of creating all the mouse overs for you, or you creating all the mouse overs, it does it for you. But again, you can change it. You can change the size of the panels. You can change everything you like. If you want to make it bigger, if you want to make it smaller, if you want to move it around, by all means, do that. Uh, check out the panels where you can do, you know, targets and headers and bars. You can make the sizing bigger. It, it's just very, very customizable to your preference. If you have any questions at all, uh, let me know uh, on Voodoo and we can go through them. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you use Voodoo, what you like, if you use mouse overs on raid frames. Uh, if you have any other questions regarding healing, shoot me a message, comment below, join me on Twitch, ask me live. This was Deflect Firm Gaming. We'll see you in the next video.